your daily dose of DI. So I'm gonna make this a regular segment because it's interesting. Um, what's great about Dice Influence, the best thing about Dice Influence is that um, everybody believes in it, right? This is, it, it's just like, it's like uh, Dice Influence is, is, is like, <laughs> it's like the 2022 in Dice, right? It's like nobody's on the same page. And if you're not on the same page, you're, you're persona non grata, everybody hates you. Um, it is what it is, right? I actually enjoy the debate. I, I was talking to Greg from 555 Crafts yesterday. He, he does watch our show. Um, and we had this great email back and forth on it um, about, you know, where do you stand? What do you believe? How are you, you know, he's a non-believer, right? You know this, he's, he's, a, he's an atheist when it comes to dice control. Um, and I think it's good that not everybody is all in on it. I think that's fine. Um, just like I said before, lose the, lose the hate speech, right? <laughs> We're gonna be good, right? Dice controllers um, are not charlatans. And those who don't believe in dice control are not, you know, whatever, chicken feeders, it, it's whatever. Use your words like, like grownups. Um, the point of it is though, if you do practice it, you gotta practice it. I put a quote up here from somebody that you all know and love, King Dice, can't shoot, can't win. Now I put this up here because um, this segment's not gonna always be go dice control. This is gonna be positives and negatives on it. Um, this is one of his things and he takes a lot of heat for this. Probably um, self-inflicted heat because he says this every single thing. He didn't show you anything on his videos, and um, then when people have met him, it's like, ugh, you know, he, has, he, hasn't, he doesn't always live up to the words, right? But I think there's a little bit of truth in this, and I want to dig into that, because if you're going to play the right side, right, there's only a couple of ways to win. Um, you can win with luck, right, with luck. You can win if the numbers happen to hit, or the dice happen to hit what you're, what you're betting on. You can win with money, right? Vince and Waylon win with money. Waylon ladders up. Vince outlasts it because he's marker, 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 and he's got this quote unquote unlimited funds to beat the bad runs with, right? The rest of us have to rely on pure luck or something like this where you're working through it. You're working through it. And again, you treat this like, a, like you're in a batting cage, right? That's what I'm doing at night. I'm batting caging it, I'm practicing, practicing. We'll see if it works at the table. So that said, quotes like this, I think are important to have here. Right, because it does, if you're gonna practice it, remember this, King Dice is right when he says this. If you're gonna bet what you throw, you better be able to throw what you're betting on, right? Otherwise, you gotta have strategies that work against random and can outlast badness. And that takes money. So there's, you know, again, be aware of the different ways you, um, you can win on the right side. Luck, money, or sharpshooting, or at least some kind of controlled shooting. That, that's all you got. The dark side, right, you win because of eventuality. The right side wins on luck, the dark side wins on eventuality because everybody sevens out. It's a matter of how much have you won or lost when that event happens, but you're gonna win. The dark side is eventual getting paid. The right side, you may never get paid. So remember that as we go. All right, 